Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. We're very proud of this custom 2017 EcoBoost Mustang we built for this year's SEMA show for the Ford Performance Display. Because it was a SEMA build though, we couldn't show you the car as we were building it, but we made sure we recorded everything so we could show you after we debuted the car itself. Today we're going to show you how we installed our custom Anderson Composites carbon fiber grill. This Anderson Composites carbon fiber grill will be a direct replacement for the factory grill on all 2015 through 2017 V6s, EcoBoost, and GT Mustangs. It's styled after the original tri-bar style GT grill and features a honeycomb insert and is made of real carbon fiber with a clear coat finish. You might be wondering about the custom horse in the center. This is a custom light up horse available from Ford Performance Accessories. This is brand new, one of the first cars to use it. To install the new grill, the first thing we got to do is remove the bumper cover. We're going to start underneath by taking off the splash shield first, get that out of the way, then we can work on the hardware for the cover. The splash shield is held on by some screws and some push pin clips. We're going to start with the push pins. So we pull down the center, you can use a screwdriver for this as well. Then we'll release this clip here, simply push in the center, just pop it out, do the same on the other side. Then we remove, now we can slide the splitter back and off the car. Now with the splash sheet off while we have access to them, unplug your fog lights and lights, it'll make it a lot easier to take the bumper cover off. With the splash panel of the way, we're going to move up into the wheel well area. There's two more of those push pin clips. One here, one kind of hard to see up here. We're going to remove these two next so we can access the one screw for the bumper cover. Simply push the center in and pry it right out. Now you want to push the splash shield back. There's one more small screw right on top here. We'll make sure you get this one off or you will damage the cover trying to remove it. Then repeat the process on the other side. Now moving up top, we're going to move the eight clips that hold the radiator cover on. With the cover off now, there's hard one underneath we have to get to. The first one, I'm going to pull the seal back, two tiny little screws on the outside edges. Then six more larger ones across the front. Now we're just about ready to remove our bumper cover. You want to start over here on the sides. You just held them by clips. So you get your hands behind it and just pull to release. Okay, with those released on the sides, you lift up on the cover to get it off the studs in the front. Just slide it away from the car. Once you have your bumper cover off the car, put it up on a surface nice and clean, some sort of a blanket so you don't damage the paint. We're going to start by removing the grill by taking the center section off right here. The center support and both grills, for that matter, are all held in by these little plastic clips. Basically, you just got to pry it up, lift it up over the lip, and then you can pop them off. Now we do the same thing with the grill. These are a little hard, but once you get it started, it'll come off a lot easier. The 
now that our car is back from the paint shop, we can actually install our custom grill. This is the Anderson Carbon Fiber Grill, designed to mimic the look of the GT grill with the three different sections, but it's made of real carbon fiber and then has a custom backing with it. You might notice the custom horse in the center. This is a new part from Ford Performance we got for this build specifically. This will be available for your GT V6 or EcoBoost. It will be a direct replacement for your factory horse and a plug into your factory wiring. If you have a stock grill in your V6 GT or EcoBoost, this horse will be a direct replacement. It's going to be a simple installation. You only have to drill one hole in the grill for the wiring to pass through and it'll replace the stock horse and install using the original mounting tabs. Our Anderson Composites grill, like I mentioned, is a direct replacement, so it's going to install just like the factory grill. We've got slots all the way around the outside. They're going to go right install in the factory tabs. Okay, let's get it down into place and just kind of line everything up. everything is centered. And start in the middle, so we'll start pressing it down on the place. And it is a tight fit. Just want to work your way around the edges. Eventually, like I said, it will pop into place. And it's ready to go back on the car. Since we're building the car for Ford Performance, we're going to finish off our underhood modifications with the Ford Performance Radiator Cover. Before we install a splash pan, we're going underneath here and reconnect all the lights. It was truly an honor for Ford to choose CJ Pony Parts to build this car for their Ford Performance display at this year's SEMA show. With high quality Ford Performance parts, along with high quality parts from Anderson Composites and Cobb, we built the Mustang that we are truly proud of. If you're lucky enough to be attending this year's SEMA show, make sure you check out the Ford display and come check out our Mustang.